New tonight now, tired commuters dozing off on the subway. Everyone's done it at one time or another, but that could make you a target for thieves. CBS 2's Weijia Jang goes on a ride, giving strap hangers a wake-up call. It didn't take long for me to find sleeping strap hangers. Do you fall asleep a lot on the subway? I try not to, but yeah. These tired commuters, the top target for an old crime making a dangerous new comeback. It's a new form of pickpocketing, only a much more aggressive form. Of Police say career crooks are using a box cutter or razor blade to cut the pockets of passengers dozing off. They're hard to catch. By the time the victim realizes what happened, the criminals are long gone. It's very quick. They can just go in there. <laughs> Take it right out. Just today, police arrested a Brooklyn man they say struck at least 20 times. In a CBS2 exclusive, they showed us the valuables he's accused of taking, including credit cards and 18 cell phones. Retired NYPD officer turned security consultant Frank Drake says it's easy to spot vulnerable people like this man. Somebody gingerly lifts up that jacket and has a razor, they can get that wallet out fairly quickly. Even though he's clutching his backpack, his pockets are exposed. Sir, hey, I'm Ouija with Channel 2. We, we delivered the wake-up call. Criminals are looking for you. Yeah, I know that. This is so dangerous, but sometimes we are so tired. To catch those responsible, more police in plain clothes are patrolling subway stations, and some officers are using themselves as bait, pretending to fall asleep on the train. Ouija Jang, CBS 2 News.